Hello, Sagittarius. This is your reading for the 7th through the 8th. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe. I do personal readings. Um, if you guys would like a reading, please go to the website at pinkarianjam.com. If you are unable to access that, I know some people have trouble when they um, access the site on their cell phone. So if you guys have trouble with that, you're more than welcome to email me at um, allforone.1foral74 at gmail. All right. So let's see what's going on for you guys today. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What's going on with Sagittarius? Knight of Cups, something that you're interested in for sure. Something that you feel very passionate about, even though this is a Cups card. But um, definitely something that I feel like means a lot to you. And um, you're determined is what I'm getting here. Scorpio energy. You're determined to make something happen is what I'm getting. Hmm. The Emperor there. Hmm. This could go vice versa. Somebody may be determined to make something happen with you. Maybe an offer to date you. Maybe an offer to... Um, an apology even, maybe just some loving gestures, um, something. But with the emperor being there, it's like they're going to have to bring it is what I'm feeling here. Somebody's going to have to bring it. Um, somebody's coming as a knight and the other person is the emperor. How does that work? <laughs> so somebody's going to really have to bring it is what I'm getting here. Okay. Two of Cups there. Who? <laughs> you know, I know you guys are probably going to think this odd, some of you, but I'm an odd person. So the first thing that comes to mind here with the Knight and the Emperor is almost like the role playing type of thing. So people get off on that, like, you know, feeling submissive or, you know, that sort of thing. Um, and it's alluring for some people. Some people like that. And I'm getting that that's the sort of thing that's going on here. Maybe somebody is younger in this situation. Um, maybe four, five, six, seven years here age gap which is not a big age gap depending on how old you are i mean if you're eight if somebody's 18 and then somebody else is like 23 24 then that's that's a decent you know gap right there but you know when you get to be 35 and somebody else is 39 is like that's not a difference really but i'm getting that there is there's something here where opposites are definitely um, are definitely attracted to each other. And so there are mutual feelings shared here, even though one of you is coming as the Knight of Cups and the other one as the Emperor. There's still mutual feelings here. Definitely. Let's see what's going with the Knight of Cups here. The Knight of Cups. Hmm. Somebody's going towards their wish fulfillment here. Definitely. They see happiness, happiness with the other person. Let's see, with the emperor. Ooh, strong attachment. Strong attachment here. There may be some codependency here in this situation. Um, there's there's also somebody here that has, I feel like, a drinking problem. If it's not a drinking problem, it's, oh, it's a porn addiction. Um, it's some kind of sexual 
addiction. Hmm. Let's see about this Two of Cups. I'm not going to stay on that too long, okay? Um, then we have a star there. There's definitely a very strong connection here. Um, there's some codependency here. There's somebody that has some addictions here. Um, it does not mean that they're, they're not your soulmate though you know nobody's perfect i definitely feel like both of you guys feel this very strong draw to each other this connection but whoever's coming here as the emperor i feel i feel that um they feel bound to help the other person okay they feel like they should be there to help the other person here. Just because somebody has addictions, it's not easy to just walk away and leave someone. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's see what's coming towards you guys here. This is a daily, so. I don't want to stay on the addictions too long, but I'm feeling that definitely there, there's somebody here that's crying out for help. Um, I feel like, I feel like they're a little, they're out of control. I do. Somebody, somebody here is out of control. Um, and I think the other person, the other individual is really trying to be there or wants to be there. Sometimes it gets a little overwhelming though. That's where this devil energy is coming from too. Um, because there's definitely codependency going on here in this connection. What's coming towards Sagittarius here? Judgment. Having to make a decision about this love, this connection. Even though you feel like this is this is your destiny, this is your partner, this is a person that you 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 feel like or you felt like at one time that you were meant to be with. It's like Hard decisions to be made here in the Ace of Pentacles. Do you want to start over? Do you want to start over like away from this individual? Or do you want, can you have stability here? Can you guys be solid? Can you be like, you know, a rock for each other? There's a choice here. There's a decision to be made. Whether to bring something back or let it go. Is it too much for you? Mm. Why this is happening is the magician. The power is in your hands and I feel like you know it. You know it. It's up to you. Can you do this? Do you want to do this? You know... I feel strong Scorpio. Scorpio's here. Hmm. Scorpio's here strongly. Um, Gemini is here. Aquarius. Capricorn energy. Then you have the Empress. You guys are definitely, oh, okay. Definitely, um, definitely a couple. And what I mean by a, by a couple is like, I'm feeling like this person, you know, this is your soulmate. You know that this is a person that you want to be with. And I'm feeling strongly that there are just some really like, there's some toxic energy between the two of you. There's also a lot of love here. But I'm getting that, I'm getting that somebody, 
Excuse me. I'm feeling like this person almost like they've received an ultimatum. Like they they definitely are an addict. When you're an addict, um, you're even if you're not doing drugs, you're a recovering addict. So it's like that's something that you deal with for life. So what I'm getting here is that this person definitely um, has some issues, whether it's a sexual addiction, whether it's alcoholism. Um, that is that is their vice, whatever that is, whatever that means for you guys. But there's definitely some healing that's been going on here. Okay. And I feel like they have um, done some work here, to be honest with you. I feel like they've done some work here. I feel like they're getting their shit together. Because I feel like they've always almost been forced to. Whether you guys have given them an ultimatum or or something has happened that has forced their hand here. But I definitely feel like they are trying to get their shit together. But it's, it's up to you guys, I feel, um, if you'll take them back. If you feel like, you know, you guys can have this stable new beginning. Because it's definitely being offered to you. But the decision is yours. It's yours. What you do with it. Um, but I will say this. Because whenever judgment shows up, for me, it's like you're being faced with a decision that's going to have long-term consequences. So just making sure that that is what you are wanting to do, you know, for the long haul does not mean that it's not going to ever change, but definitely um, long-term consequences because when after judgment, which is 20, um, the world comes at 21, wrapping up a cycle, okay, and then starting over again. The world is also Saturn. Saturn is enduring, okay? So, the, the, I can't even talk. The decision is you guys, okay? It's up to you um, and what you want to do with it. So we have um, Scorpio, I feel strongly, strongly, Aries, Capricorn, Aquarius, um, Scorpio, Gemini, Taurus, Libra, energy is here. And then we also have um, Cancer and Pisces energy here. Okay, guys? So... That is what I have for you, and I will be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.